Hello everyone, Lindsay here and today is July 31st. That means today is the last video I'll be posting for a little, for some time now. I am starting back at school teaching 6th grade math and science on August 7th. So I have like now until the 7th to get ready and prep and you know finish up my classroom and whatnot. So um, but yeah, I thought I would just say thanks for watching any videos you watched this month if you did and then also um share my beautiful planner that i got from um michael's sorry had a brain fart couldn't remember um my beautiful planner from michael's i wanted to share it with you guys and then yeah so let me go ahead and show you my planner and then i probably will show you a few other things that i use for during the school year um to help me like organize better and just like you know like get my thoughts together for the week and whatnot um, so let me show you my planner then I'll show you a couple other documents that I have really quickly and then yeah so let's let me show you this okay so this is the planner that I picked up at Michaels I bought this like probably a couple weeks ago so teachers have class I really like the colors on the front I love the dividers for the months that's the main reason why I got this one. So here is the August divider. Um, as you can see, I haven't really written much in here. So if you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. Let me show you the September one. Teachers change the world, one child at a time. October one, messy classrooms are where the magic happens. Oh, I love this one, November. Can't touch this, like I'm into cactuses right now or cacti however you'd say it so I love this one um, excuse number 247 point or 247 hundred thousand or million I can't tell if those are deaths or, or those are periods or commas anyways my unicorn ate my homework so cute be a pineapple stand tall wear a crown and be sweet on the inside february everybody is a genius but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid i think that one's a good one to know and remember i'm silently correcting your grammar um this happens with my uncle correcting my grammar and he doesn't do it silently he he calls me out all the time <laughs> Squeeze the day. That one's cute. Dinosaurs didn't read and now they're extinct. Life is better with sprinkles. I'm a teacher. What's your superpower? And then at the back here is just a checklist. So I really like this, ugh, this planner. For me, I didn't keep all of the like... Um, weeks in here yet i took a lot of them out and then um and put it aside because i don't want to have all of these other months in my planner right now because i'm not going to be uh you know needing them till later so i went ahead and i just put, left in august for now so then i can plan for the month of august like you know usually i do week by week but if I want to do ahead, then I can. And then once I get closer to September, I'll put them in. And then I might just take August out because I don't want... This is like by itself with just what's in here right now. It's kind of like heavy. Okay, so another thing that helps me stay organized and get through the year, um, especially for middle school because I have different um, classes, different subjects, is this um, five-star um, folder document where I can like hold a bunch of different like papers that I collect from the students and one thing that I changed up this year is instead of like doing period one two three four five six whatever um I went ahead and did two little folder um dividers per period that I'm going to be teaching so as you can see you can't see period two because period two is going to be my prep so I have um still extra dividers towards the back but I wanted like the front to for sure have labels and then one I have for prep labeled for prep so that helps me stay super organized for during the year um, when I have to collect all the different papers another thing that I um, I think I found this 
template online and then I just went ahead and I changed it depending on how I wanted it and then I just write in the different things so I downloaded it in Google Docs and then I like once I know what, who my students are I put their names here and then um, I can go ahead and put in all the grades on here and I like to keep that with me in here and then I transfer all that stuff to online because that's where we have our grades online so I have it for all the subjects that I'm going to be teaching okay and then one more thing or two more papers that i wanted to show you that i just made myself in word doc i just put add table and i put like how many tables i wanted across and then down and then i typed all this stuff in and added spaces so then i could have space between the different subjects the different days so at the top i put week and then um for each row it's like the class periods for that day so Monday and then I put a little slash so then I can put like Monday and then the date for that day and then um, so I'm gonna have first and fourth period math and then third fifth and sixth is all gonna be science but like just depending on what I'm doing with science it might be different on different days usually with math I stick to the same thing every day with the period so like whatever I do in first I most likely I'm gonna do in fourth period but science sometimes like we get ahead in a different period or we get behind so I don't want to have I want them to have their each their own box but then since I might be writing more in math depending I just gave math like a bigger box um, so I had that for like through the week until Friday and then notes for the week at the bottom so usually um, I'll write like if I'm meeting with my principal or someone else or if we have a meeting that week or whatever I'll put it at the bottom here and then I just made another one that's a little bit more blank in a way and this is for like when there's a four day week so I have those two documents that I'm used last year a lot and I might you know use them again this year just depending on like how my planner goes because I bought this planner the planner to, in place of this but I'm so like used to using this that I don't know if I'm, you know, what to do. Like if I'm gonna just use my planner a lot more or what. So I almost feel like this would be a good like rough draft thing to do and then have the planner for like when it's for sure what I'm doing. And I like that this is all on one page. I don't like that the planner has like, it's like, you know, this side is like part of it and then this side's the other part. So, but we'll see. Okay, so besides the things that I showed you that I use for organizing, I'm also like love to like use a bunch of sticky notes as reminders and then set like alarms in my phone to remind me to do things. And then also I love to like make a checklist on the weekend, like what I need to get done or what I need to think about for the week. So if I need to get materials ready for like a lesson or I need to write a lesson or I need to make PowerPoint or grade stuff, I like always do like a checklist and that really helps me throughout like um, for the weekend just to feel super prepared for the following week because I noticed like for myself and my personality if I don't feel prepared I get super super stressed overwhelmed out. and I just it's so hard to function that way and I'm just not doing the best I can for like even my students or myself and it's just so much easier to like over plan and like um like i'd rather waste not waste but like use my whole weekend time to plan out the week than have like a super fun weekend of like going to the beach or whatever because when the week hits like it's just too overwhelming for me if i don't have a plan even if i stray away from that plan it's cool but i just last year at the beginning of the year i like totally had like a breakdown because i didn't really have my week planned out and I just felt like super stressed with like I have all these kids here looking at me and I need to perform I need to do something I need to guide them I need to get them somewhere and how am I gonna do this if like I don't know what to do like over planning is better than under planning because that's like a way that I stayed like less stressed of course I was still stressed at times <laughs> and like I don't think I'm ever gonna get away from stressing out for school but and for work but it's just much better to over plan than under plan. But yes, so I'm going into my second year of teaching at the same school and I'm pretty excited to start 
um, with one grade level lower. So same subject areas, but just a, now I'm gonna be doing sixth grade instead of seventh, so I'm pretty excited. But I did wanna do like a teacher lookbook, like of all the outfits I have, but I just, I just don't think I have time for that, like, cause I wanna prepare for school and um, I don't wanna put in those extra time, like making more videos, so I probably won't really make any videos for a while. And then you'll see me here and there, maybe, or not for a while, a long time. <laughs> so if I'm able to, maybe I can take pictures of my different outfits and then, or just small videos and then put something together like later on, like maybe every day I put on my outfit, I can just do a little video in the morning just so you can see the outfit and then I'll put those all together later. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the videos I made this month. I'm really happy, like for myself. I just really wanted to make certain videos, like the HelloFresh videos, and try out HelloFresh for the first time, and try out Freshly, and you know, make, and then try try making like um, videos where I'm trying on different clothes and the clothing haul and all that stuff. So I'm really happy that I, you know, went through and actually did that stuff and then had some videos with my boyfriend like doing my makeup and that just stuff was like really fun for me to do and I enjoyed it and it is a lot of work and so it makes me feel just like so much, like I just enjoy like watching other people's videos so much more because I know all the work that they put into it because for me doing videos it was, it's a lot of work and like you can get totally like you can love it and get totally involved and passionate about it but it can take like days and days of your time and I understand if someone makes a video and they're working on it from morning to night and maybe even longer and then they edit it and they upload it and it's just like you know it takes it takes time so you really need to like if you've never made a video before and you love watching videos and you complain that people don't post videos or something you need to make some videos edit them try it out and and then you you you'll understand what the process really is so but just like I already knew it was a lot of work but just having the time to do all that was really fun and I enjoyed it and my summer was pretty like I like telling people when they ask me what I did this summer like if I really go into it I feel like they're just like oh that's like you made videos and you did nothing like I feel like I did a lot of things that I wanted to do so I enjoyed my summer. I didn't go on a bunch of vacations, but that's cool because that's not what I had planned. So um, maybe next year, maybe next summer, but you know, I'm really happy that I was able to enjoy my summer and not feel like super like stressed out and stuff. So anyways, hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again another time, but who knows when. Bye.